Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to discuss about the net classes in LTM Designer. So, uh, uh, I mean, I, as I told you so many times, net classes are the, the group of nets that we just we create a class and whenever we apply any rule or design rule or whenever we select that net class, those, uh, those things will apply to the all nets under the net class, right? So, uh, I mean, there are three major application of net class as you can see we can simply compare different nets so if you make a net class of usb and uh, suppose analog I, and i just want to see the usb and analogs together except all the nets right so we can simply compare those net like what is the minimum clearance between those and uh, uh, we have routed those nets correctly or not right simply uh, the second application is we can apply multiple design rules on those net classes together so suppose we made a net class of all the analog pins and we just simply uh, make a design rule of clearance like uh, suppose uh, those analog lines should be uh, like minimum 10 mil uh, away from other tracks right so we can simply apply design rules on all, all the all the nets together that is uh, second application another thing another, another thing is uh, we can uh, simply review our design so suppose suppose we made lot of net classes for five volt ground and all the analog digital pins usb lans right and we can simply review our design like we have routed those tracks correctly or not right so uh, these are three major application of uh, net classes so i just want to show you a demo here so i just made the net class so in this five volt uh, net class you can see there are two nets, five volt and three volt, right? So we can simply uh, go through with each net uh, together. So if I select the net class, right? Simply if I select the USB, so it has uh, data negative and data positive both tracks, right? So uh, th I mean this works uh, like it is very useful tool and you can uh, use it in multiple ways. So I'm just going to show you how you can create net classes. But before that, if you guys want to win a $5 coupon right now, just follow this procedure. What you guys need to do, just go to the description of this video and there you'll find a link, uh, free $5 registration link. And you have to just left click on that link. It will direct you to next PCB website. There you have to register yourself with your official mail ID and sign up for uh, the next PCB.com. And there you will find a coupon under my coupon section which will give you a $5 flat discount on your any PCB you order. So let's discuss how we can create the net classes. So if you go to the PCB tab and here you can see there's no net classes right now. And there's only uh, selection option uh, for all the nets, right? So if we'll click on that, we can select the all the nets together. So again, go back to your project file schematic. So let's start with the, uh, the SW, uh, SWD pins. So we'll use these pins to program the IC. So there's two way to uh, select the net classes, set the net classes, sorry. Uh, so either you, you can simply right click here and select the parameter set and place it on the individual nets, right? There's one more options. We can simply place left click on the blanket. Now left click here, left click, left click, right click. So we just place the bl blanket on these two nets. If we'll apply the para, now we'll place the parameter set on this blanket. Then this, uh, these both net will be comes under un, under this net class. So we'll just make this net class SWD. And so this is just a level, right? Now what we'll do, we'll left click on add and left click on net class. So now we are adding the net class SWD, right? So it's selected. That's it. We made our first net class. Simply we can do it for uh, other nets also. So suppose we need to select this particular portion, this much area for the, for the oscillator connections, right? So what we'll do, we'll left click here, left click on blanket, just cover those uh, nets. What you want to select? left click left click and right click so we just place the blanket now we'll left click here on the parameter set place the parameter set now these are the oscillator connections we'll just uh, 
place a label oscillator now left click on add net classes and just oscillator that's it we made our second net class right so simply we can uh, you can do it with uh, you know any uh, uh, whatever the nets you want you can select those and just create the net classes simply like this is the usb connection so i just want to place the net class for those also so simply place the blanket that's it now place the parameter set like this double click on it so this is our usb left click net class usb so you can see it is overlapping with other things also so what you can you can do you can just click on that and just change the style to tiny one that's it so see it is that much easier to create the net classes right so we'll save the project file now open the pcp design import changes so see these are the three net classes that we have created execute those close go to the pcb tab and here you can see all the net classes here right so as i told you we, you can apply multiple uh, design rules also so if you go to the design rules suppose i, I just want to create a clearance rule new rule and here you want to apply those rule to the net class select the net class from here and uh, to all and just make the clearance of 5 or 10 something right if i apply see so just change the design rule so uh, as you can see uh, these are huge lot of mistakes here because i place the design rule which is a random design rule so yeah this is how you can apply design rules on your schematic right thank you guys